Episode four. Let's just, uh, we'll get right into the previously and then continue on. We'll finish episode four today and then um, go back to some Hades probably. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. The Truth, Episode 4. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. No, I don't believe that at all. Hartman, I fell. I had to get to Alan was the sick. doctor. Don't fight it. I, you went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you're lying. You're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. Go, 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 go. Huh. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Alright, hold up. I want to get rid of the FPS counter. I don't know why I didn't do that like way sooner, but Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. <laughs> I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. N That's nice the place. spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. <laughs> now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Follow Dr. Hartman. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fish hey. trip. Except for the ones <laughs> who are particularly vulnerable. Night Springs. Oh, why do those candies look like familiar? I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Bear. Oh, trippy. Gotta look for those now, uh, Alan, from thermoses. experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything yeah, revolves around you. As many as I can. And dreams. There's like a hundred of them. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, 
I had to fight not to believe his words. It's mm. all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. I like how he's just watching me like walk everywhere that's like not with him. This is going to end up being like he's experimenting with some some formula from the dark the dark forces. And it's like a Cauldron Lake Large. This game's a trip. It's pretty wild. Oh, read. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I don't believe it. It's going to end up just like Call of Cthulhu or something. Pretty view, though. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards oh, yeah. the recovery. Got it, buddy. Come along. Let's go inside. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary, you were impressed scary, by my trophies scary. when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, <laughs> man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. Got gotcha. you good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you Got a thermos. Need to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Oh, hello. Okay. I've okay. painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting Alan, better. Please, this way. Oh yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. You bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, I'm sure you keep spooky pictures of the dark. Come, Alan. This way. Now. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, we should continue. Oh, what is it? Is it going to take me to facebook.com slash Alan Wake again? Hold up, I have to know. alanwake.com slash tag three oh 
There's a, it takes you to something it's like a gif and it says constipation that looks painful but pain spelled like max pain like p-a-y-n-e full I don't know how I feel about that Hey, another thermos, though. That's two. It took me to a gif. The game just memed me. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Fine. Fine, let's continue. <laughs> They're just like patiently waiting for me. They're like, uh... I bet the big dude's like, you want to go put him in the jacket? Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patient's need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative process. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, trademarked, and its sister method, the flow, also trademarked. Work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Oh yeah, that's the others. My rheumatism's killing me. These guys, huh? There's a storm coming. Oh. What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson Odin brothers. And Tor. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Ooh. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> oh, I get it. Not Odin is like missing an eye and Tor is playing with the hammer. Sonny, who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down. Oh. That's no need to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Oh. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. Mm. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom! Got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guy. a stash of the special <laughs> stuff at the farm. Our own. 
Thomas Zane's writing and assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Formula, hmm. local ingredients, medicine, clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I mm. just Upset noticed kiddo. leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost his all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, mm -hmm. didn't she? That's what she does. Oh. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open mm. a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, for... All so right. tired. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of power. A place of power, huh? All right, neat, neat. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The docs got me looking after wake here, but you can't wake around. up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. <laughs> they're only in your head, and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up. All right. So they can say they made a contribution, and then we end up. Hey, wake! Why don't you humor Doctor Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only Ooh. focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. That's creepy. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. That's super creepy. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Creepy. The one glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Vinsanity, thanks for the host, man. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? 
Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha <laughs> ha! Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. What am I supposed to do? Like, just walk right over there? Hammer's way will have it saved. Uh, I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Open the line. Hey, what's up, man? Did I check out Batwoman? The is it like a show? No, I haven't seen it. Ooh, manuscript page. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it. I didn't even know it was coming out. Honestly, I think I saw something on Twitter about it, but wake to say he needed more time. And he it out. I didn't see. Less when or anything to show him who was in charge but that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. oh no I didn't see it hey hold up Hartman wasn't, wasn't happy Mott could see it in his eyes he quickly lowered his own he had made a mess of it and he knew it the shame of failure was hard to bear he hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time and he blurted out same universe days, uh, okay less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge but that wasn't part of Hartman's plan that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Wake, Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. Oh, okay. Sure was his name on one of them. Interesting. I couldn't but, you know, I've stopped watching... We've stopped watching all the... All the DC shows. It just got to be too much. So nine of 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 Arrow or something? No, I'm like I said, I don't I don't watch it anymore. Unless I mistype the title. Star Wars. Ah, I mean, yeah. I don't know about hype. I'm looking forward to it. I was not aware of that. Try not to, uh, in the future, try not to, uh, talk about stuff for, like, movies that haven't happened yet, or things that, like, like that, because that, that's a point that people may not be aware of. the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. The photo on the wall caught my attention. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I know. It's, the clinic staff was standing Some people don't don't see anything I like about it next to at all. She and so Hartman had been playing could be like a spoiler along. beforehand. Let me out of here. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm going to sue your crazy quack ass to shred. Seriously. Barry? Ow, about time. Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. Checked out the new we Rambo. To to I honestly office. don't know if I've seen it's right next door. any Rambo. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to... Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt his talking. I thought it was just going to open the door, and he was These still going to talk. I had and more. Yo, what up, Dragoon? 500 million? Not bad. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. 
really way. Oh, that was quick. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Parker, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? It's Together it's we can create nice. something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Nope, don't go that way. No, no, not that way. Ow, okay. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, ow. What, what hit me? Oh god. Okay, that was painful. <laughs> the dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Yeah, Rambo Rambo and Rocky. Oh, yeah. Ow. Always be in a couple days. Yeah, we're just going slowly, like, you know, like a chapter at a time. There's like infinite in four hours. I haven't played any of the Uncharted games. I feel like I should. I ah, know, no more flares. The same night it came out, nice. Manuscript page Hartman watches Wake Hartman fall. Followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the writer hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Mm. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking. Something in chronological order, order yet? Is, is that just one, two, three, four? I've, all, I've got the three. I've got one, two, three. Oh, Wake was finally within his reach, huh? Right, I know. I'm just saying that I don't. I don't have four yet, at the moment. That would do it. Lenora. I'm not sure I'm aware of what that is. Oh, God, now. Oh, LA. LA Noir. Ah. I haven't played that. Do I have that? I don't know. I might.
No, yeah, yeah. I remember when it came out, everybody was was doing their detective thing. I just never got around to, to playing it. Suspended, Lauren Miller, 1989. I found the you don't feel like playing it for other locked. endings. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out! <laughs> Ow? That one. Yeah, sometimes games like that, I'm not sure if I would want to play through for multiple endings. Outlast is a scary game. Outlast has some disturbing moments. A lot of jump scares. And just some, some gruesome parts. Proceed through the garden. What is this? The Shining? Coming out of the sequel, yeah, Doctor Sleep. Well, it was a it was a book sequel first, but yeah, I'm excited. I really like The Shining. Studied it with Obi Wan. Don't trust Emil. Here's Johnny. Wake sees. Oh wait, Hartman's mission. Oh, I didn't Hartman realize that we had picked he was that up. No creator. He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction to be a producer. Yeah, you and McGregor. That was yeah. what most of these yeah, people were the Disney Plus anyway. stuff looks good. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. All right, now we have another one. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-size stage complete with an impressive sound system oh, with all farm. trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. That'll be neat. Is it like seven or just all of them? Prepare, yeah. Oh. I'm excited. That sounds cool. Yeah, seven. Yeah, I haven't played seven. The other ones, I've played 
five. I've played a little bit of four. I've never beaten four. Oh, really? I hadn't seen that. That'd be interesting. Hey, another page. Hartman hurried down the corridor. Only played RE5? Like yeah. A lot of people consider it a pretty weak one in the series. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming. Hey, Sanchigo. This is a really good game. Was it underrated? Like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. It's got, it's got a uh, good reviews. I feel like it was maybe it just didn't get a lot of like hype. Looks like it reviewed well. How are you doing, Sachiko? Good, I'm doing pretty good today. Got a bad sleep a bit last night, but uh, kind of got a. I didn't really nap, but I got like a, a moment to, to lay down and rest my eyes for a minute today. So that was, that was good. Oh. We'll go three times, yeah. Oh god, there's birds. See the PS5? I I mean, didn't it get announced? Well, they didn't officially announce what they were going to call it. But they did say that the like next generation of consoles was in development. But I did see that they like officially were like, it's going to be the PS5. Did they say a price point on it? I didn't think they did. I saw the release date. I mean, I read through the announcement. I didn't see a price point, though. Although, if it's backwards compatible for everything, 500 is not a bad price. If it's, like, just PS4, though, that's still not as great, IMO. I need more details on that, though. But I mean, like, if I could get a PS5 and replace literally all of my Sony Sony consoles over here, that would be pretty legit. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Ooh. Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead... He seemed willing to fight. 
Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Oh, was that the, the quote-unquote kidnapper? It's a lot of birds, man. The game is made by the same people uh, until dawn. Same style game. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, heavy rain. Mm, yeah. Oh, they did Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, Detroit Become Human, Fahrenheit, way back when. Which one? Detroit? Like on, uh, on PS4? Oh, maybe I do have it then. I can look real quick. Oh, I do have it. Oh, look at that. There it is. My PS4 is not hooked up at the moment, though. I need it, even though I could see it on my computer. I can't. I can't play it without the without the PS4 actually hooked up. Ow! So, uh, so, yeah, so I so I do have it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it came with heavy rain. Okay, I remember. I remember that month of uh, of PlayStation Plus. Manuscript. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Oh, that sucks for Barry, dude. I wonder if there's like an achievement for hitting all of these. But I haven't been. I bet there is at like the very end. It's like, ah, oh, you did it. Uh, as as it happens, Emil made Tom do it. Ooh. Some people, some people do that. It did not sound like, like my breathing. Okay, now we've been that way though. Hmm. 
awkward. Does this not just put me back? Oh, no, it doesn't put me back up where I was. Interesting. Three coffee thermoses here. Ooh, more ammo. Yes, sir. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Oh, uh, that's fun. Oh, is that Barry? Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... about it <laughs> hurry up Barry I'm on it I'm on it What? I found it! I found it! Ah, no, wait, that's a twig. Here it is! Oh, I found the key! Why does he still have the cutout? We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. <laughs> buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. That's funny. All right, once we load in again, we're going to take a, uh, a little dinner break. I'm crazy, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom. Hey, Disney. Break, but yeah. she's not dead. Al. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I know. Listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. 
I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Oh, this is the fall. Yo, Disney. How's it going? my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Well, there we go. How are you guys? I'm doing good. My cover is blown. <laughs> Continuing chapter four, episode four. We just crashed. We have no idea where our agent is. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're I'm okay. good. Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop. And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. For, first donation for what? Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. It's a taken. Oh, yeah! Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City. Oh, before, redemption. Huh? No, nobody's nobody's redeemed yet. You could though. You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. <laughs> Sorry, so the guild coins are new. I didn't catch up with Barry. So if I get zero, these are these are a different currency. Um the uh silver coins are the uh are the general currency. Oh, does that still say Grim Tokens? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh god, my health is really low. <laughs> that was dumb. I didn't catch up with Barry. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. Uh, let's change this real quick. All right, the stats command is updated. Ah, oh, I gotta run that whole way again. Oh no, wait. Hold up. Okay, this is where it put me. Oh dear. Yeah, look at all those hours from everybody. 900, 1100, 1800. That's creepy. Manuscript page. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. 
Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Well, that was morbid. <laughs> I mean, no. We had a whole big discussion in the Discord about about it potentially being tough to uh, to like change just because everybody's so used to something else, you know? Ow. It's not taking me anywhere beneficial. Ow. Yeah, no, it's all good. Over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. I'm glad. I don't think anybody's like disliked the rebrand so far. So, that that's always good. I was I was pretty nervous, right? I mean, like, yeah, obviously a lot of uh, really like long established community members. And, uh, and then just, you know, me, I had just been streaming under that name for like more than five the years. Nightingale stared at the past out really? There. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's abortion. Weird. I wonder. He had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. I wonder if it was, I, sometimes I just hit that, that big, like, clean, clean server. So if he hadn't been in it in a while, it might have just automatically removed you. Yeah, that, that could have been it. It did not kick you intentionally if, if that was all there. You like Grim's here? I know, Loki Lancer is just a lot easier for me to connect with. And, uh, and like, brand, if that makes sense. I just, I just wasn't digging the Gremlin thing. Agent right. what did it say? stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt his Oh, he's counted his offline. That's brain. all right. But he had a job to do. He I was just trying to clean up head, some like duplicates and stuff like that. His hand shook and his throat which I still didn't do a very good job at. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Mm. Wake stirred. All right, so that's that that's that corrupt cop guy. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Oh, I say have gates all recently. Hey, there's nothing over here. To the generator. Oh, ow. I've fallen. And I'm like, no, you, you're quite, quite, quite active. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. But I've got trust in no one in the dark. Kind of lame that they started repeating messages. But also, I mean... How much effort do you put into potentially like messages that, that that players will potentially not see at all? Only a free fatty acid can good for your heart.
<laughs> he just said he, he just said that they were good for my heart. Dude, it popped out from behind the tree. Freaked me out a little. Oh, God. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. All right. Got to share something? Oh, sure. <laughs> Ooh, switch over to a heavy duty flashlight. Yes, please. Lithium batteries, good. He just said that they're he said that they're good for your heart. The car was heading for the camera. I thought he was about to. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. At least they gave us a heavy duty flashlight early. We don't really have anything else. No weapon or anything. Just two, I believe. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. The Dark Presence at large. The Dark Presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. Spooky light, man, yeah. the story yeah. reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. <laughs> Hey, at least we got some flares. Just gonna come up here and take a peek. Oh, we're back to... We're back to bear traps, huh? That's exciting. Oh no. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. What does it say? The taken are filled with darkness. The patients the escaped the lodge. The Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Hmm. Spooky boys. And they give you this just in case you were dumb enough to jump down here. Like moi.
Oh god. Better luck with work tonight, you can't call off. I mean, is it a doctor's excuse? You literally... You literally can't work there without having a medical problem. Can't really afford to miss... Yeah, but it sounds like you can't really afford to go. Like, every time I go to work, I end up with a new hospital bill. <laughs> Whoo, made it. I could see the car. But there was no sight of the driver. Hello? Anybody here? Mm. Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! Oh, what, what are you? What are you? Ah! No! Don't! I'm sorry! Ah! I mean, I feel like you'd have, like, a legitimate, like, medical reason to not work there anymore. Oh. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny... I lost him. Certainly did. Something's gone wrong with him. Uh, it's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. <laughs> Well, <laughs> the man you're looking at wrote it. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm oh, now the protagonist. that's why we're this here. Feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers, in a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. Neat. Animal 
Visions of the Dead, future. Huh? Well, so we're uh, we're like we're like living out like a novel, um, right now. The front door was locked. So, like that that makes that sense as was still a good distance away as to why it's being narrated. Fast. For a moment. Hartman considered strangling the idiot. So it's like Bob we're going scared, through like a, a book that we have late. written An to try and stop the darkness. Wake by contrast was a far Yeah, I think that's like subject. the real Bob us. Him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in and quickly. It's confusing. It's a little twisty but so I think that that light is us just trying to, to write in the way for us to like help rescue Alice oh, what was I going to say Stevie if Barry wasn't up here he you've was got enough points farm. for a moment for a redemption now for doubting him after all I've made it this far myself but Barry was Barry I don't know. I'm just waiting to see what the first redemption somebody somebody does is. We haven't seen one yet, so. Ooh, flashbangs, dude. No bad Stevie. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you from doing one, Dragoon. <laughs> typically at work. Ooh, hello. Oh, bad CV for the dab. Ah, I see. How do you redeem? Uh, exclamation point redeem one will, uh, like the number one because it auto populated with the other redeem and it doesn't work as well. Uh, we'll give you the link for it. Ooh, do we want the hunting rifle? Oh, yeah, probably. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming. Yeah, the hunting is rifle's pretty good. Here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, mm. at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. Yeah, the there sheriff's you go. department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm.
You aren't usually working or still sleeping for work. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not the perfect schedule, but <laughs> Where am I hitting? You can put any game. Um, so there are. Um, so yeah, this is this is why we have this is gonna get complicated. Sort of. So you for being night home third shift, yeah. Not even kidding. Well then. Well then, oh Mella. Oh, he's not dead. There we go. Hey, achievement. So anyways, that that's kind of the uh the the quote unquote restrictions that we're looking at for the system. I tried not to make it like too bad, but like <laughs> there were there were people on the old one that thought they were being smart and they were like, I want you to do a Dark Souls new game through new game plus seven playthrough with with this 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 and it was like that's that's too much that's too much time <laughs> so just just so that we're we're all up on everything I'm not sure I know. Do I have a duck game listed? Are you thinking about the goose game? Because the goose game would be different. I don't have the, the new goose game. Good lord. Good lord. That was loud. Where did you see duck game? Oh, do I have it? Stevie added a game. Duck game. Do I have that? It's this like old, it's like a multiplayer one. So this is not actually in my list. I don't know where that came from. I'll have to remove that. Because I don't, I don't think I actually have it. It's on the game list. I know that got pulled straight from from Steam. So that that's wild. You did a thing, Stevie redeemed. Oh, Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Neat. Where are my font options? Oh, there we go. Uh, 
And obviously it counts as, as a vote when you redeem it as well. All right, we got the first one up. <laughs> really not. Hey, I mean, BT did the uh, did had a full boyfriend, so never on there. So now, if you would like to, uh... no. Oh God, what is it? Ah. Now, if you would like to see the list, it's there. Oh, I am going to have to go that way, huh? I mean, there's like gaps in the tree. Can I not just crawl under it? It seems like a lot to make me come out this way. But yeah, so anyways, so if you're if you're curious on what games have already been redeemed, or like that way you know if you need to like add add a vote or so I thought that was a ladder. And then it like went away and I'm what? But yeah, that way you know whether you need to do a full redeem or you just need to do a uh, a vote for a game that you might that's already on the list that you want to see and i've said it before though but if you if if you're not paying enough attention and you uh and you redeem a game that's already on the list it's just going to count as an added vote there he is And you'll be and you'll be out an extra 50, 50 coins. So don't don't do that. But anyways, though, the system's just getting going and it's obviously not not perfect. But hey, it was neat. I'm glad the alert worked. I don't have Exodus, no. Exodus is new. I'll get it when it's super cheap. The only I think the only reason I have like 2033 and uh and last light is because I got them in like a bundle like for really cheap which then means that I got the uh, I got the upgraded versions you got a free yeah I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars oh this is the, I hadn't uh, really sunk in until I saw the stage oh, this is oh yeah uh oh Glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! Al! We have to fight them off! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped! Al, hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights on!
Ow. That's rude. Heavy-duty lantern, huh? Big boy flashlight, yep. That's the high point of my life? Really? Children of the Ow. Child of the Elder that God. Was awesome. Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. <laughs> okay, then. Hey, that was pretty sweet. I'll take it. All right. Hey, Al, this way to the farm. So got four flares. Works out. Hey, right, where'd he go? Did he just walk through? No. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, hold up. I think there's a manuscript page over here. Did you just do something? Ah, it is a manuscript page. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiot. <laughs> oh, jeez. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Okay, now now we continue on over this way. Bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me.
Did we like quote unquote? Yeah. Yeah, I remember the picture. Ah, up. Up, up, we go up. No, maybe we don't go up. Oh, no, maybe we do. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. Yeah. And if I don't get my way, <laughs> I'm sunk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very... Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. Sleep. We all spend uh -oh, a few more night springs. in soft embrace. Man. Somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? But your Dreams first real writing job. What got you started? So much. So much dialogue. someone else are you asking dragoon Disney It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Mm -hmm. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something, something's happening here. The old gods of Asgard. Be awed by celestial wrath and fury. I love it. What I have for supper? Uh, some tuna. Green beans. And strawberries. While well, shrieking. Oh, good going, Al. I mean, he's the god of lightning. Can tuna, yeah. It's really easy and convenient. And it actually doesn't taste all that bad. Oh. No, I'm not using it. Sounds healthy. It actually is. Tuna is a really lean meat. Um, green beans, obviously good.
tuna noodle casserole. Can't have noodles at the moment, but but maybe in the future. Now that I know, I don't know why I like have like never really tried tuna before. I, 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 I have to have had. I don't know, but it was just like never on my radar. Oh, those broke. Tuna egg noodles, chopped bits of hard boiled egg. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that. Make it through here, Al. A lot of that is stuff that I that I'm not allowed to eat right now. But hey, it's okay because I am technically not obese now for probably the first time in my like adult life. Or at the very least since college. Why? I lost weight. Down like 30 pounds. Buddy. Thanks, Disney. This is one. I mean, a 10 pound fluctuation, it, you know, that could be a lot of water weight. That could be, you know, just if you, if you overate like one day or something like that. That's like not you like that's that's like depending on even the time of day that you decided to go in and go to the doctor or whatever. There's like any number of things that could alter like within within that much, right? Barely drink water, usually to your palm. It could be it too. You know, your body needs water. It's important. How did he get over there without getting swarmed? had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? The door was barred from the other side. Stuff. I'd have to find another way. I'm going to stay and take a look at this stuff. Mm, Rip Barry. If we make it out of this, he's Be planning... Careful. He's planning for the future. He's toasty toast, boys. But so yeah. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Got a little bit more on this program, like a month and a half. Whoa! You okay, Al? I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? So I think it'd be neat. I probably have a little bit more to go. Always been short and skinny. I've always been big. It's just been the, the way that it was. No longer, though. No, I'm kidding. I'm still going to be a big guy. As a, on, on the, uh, the like the BMI scale, I need to be down at like 230 to be considered like a normal weight, quote unquote. And that's that's a lot Just, like of weight to lose. I've never been like that small. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, 
How busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other <laughs> irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. I did. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's yeah. Pretty wild. There's been all yeah, sorts technically of not here. obese Vandalism, anymore. Fighting, public disturbances. Pretty cool. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely uh. not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh shoot, I lost my train. And I know that BMI is not like the end all be all measurement. Oh, it was yeah, just neat. Yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, you could do it too, nice Stevie. To at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. All right. Grim sucks. Ouch. Who said that? I see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting I was the two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Of course, there's just like also regular enemies here. No armor's there. What's next? The plane? Yeah, who knows? Cool, cool. Ah, uh, so of course that collapses back in on the batteries that I couldn't take before. All right, I gotta go open the door for Barry. How you doing, Elrota? I guess he did technically open that for me. God, this dude's stamina is nothing, not a... Saw more babbies? Nice. We had our four month appointment today. With the kiddo. She had to get more shots. She was not a fan. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? 
Everybody! Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Valhalla. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. I don't like that chainsaw on the tree. I feel like Barry's gonna die. Yeah, well, because they kind of talk about it. Old gods know the truth. Some, lights are out. Something this tells me box. Silly Logger would not be a, uh, a big fan of that decision. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Yeah, if I could find the fuse box, copy thermos. Oh, another coffee thermos. <laughs> you know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer. A time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome! The, the flashlight actually makes it kind of difficult to see. Can you hear that, Alice? Music? Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Babbling? Right. Uh, I mean, she Must be. does sometimes. She's she's chatty every once in a while. It's pretty cute. find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry, this is... Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. 
I'm a writer, god damn it. Oh Ray, no. If I just wanted to, oh I no, that's me. Like 10 books a year. Oh god, I and, saw the figure the in the background. I thought it was that old lady. Couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, cuz I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her. Oh, he's dead. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like it. this Alice! Alice! Where are you? Alice! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice. And so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. What? Okay, here, give me one second. I just gotta go get the the monitor. Silly looker had to step out of the house for a second. So just gotta keep an ear out for the kiddo waking up. Thanks, Elroda. Weird dream. Yeah, it's a weird dream. Yeah, thanks, man. It's been good. I'm just going to keep an ear headphone off so in case it beeps. Hey, Seamies, how's it going? The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. 
made me her puppet. She must be <laughs> yeah. Maybe upstairs in the study. Could Alice! You, could you do yes, that anymore? that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. So Alice? easily manipulated. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, <laughs> no, hey, good no. morning. It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. No! <laughs> oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Hmm. Because the darkness needs. She had Alice. Whatever the, the conclusion to the, the story is. For her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Oh. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Yeah, that's, to bring that's the thought. To the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far <laughs> away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. Oh, weird. She stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness. Trippy, and fear. dude. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Hmm. Ah, so that's how we got here. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh. Oh. Dang, dude. There's an road with mystery of Tom well, that, that's where we end Alan Wake for the day. So the cop knows that this is all like a novel kind of thing. It's a really interesting, interesting twist. And he's there at the house at Valhalla. Do, do, 
I'm not afraid.